Welcome to an unstuffing. Eek, how exciting. Uh, we have got stuff to unstuff. <laughs> Um, welcome back to Budgets and Dreams. Hello, if you're new, I am Jen. I am a cash stuffer and budgeter, and I am planning to pay off loads of debt from doing all this stuff, which is really fun and exciting. So yay, hello, welcome. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all having a fab week. Sorry this video didn't come out earlier in the week, which is what I had planned, um, but I have had a week. Um, I can't be bothered to talk about it. <laughs> It's really not that interesting. Uh, but yeah, I just haven't had time, which is also why my nails are in a bit of a state. So sorry about that. And yes, these will still be in a state when I film my cash stuffing tomorrow. So sorry. Um, yeah, hope you're having a fab week. Right, I'm just going to get stuck in. I'm more than likely going to miscount, um, write down the wrong numbers, do the wrong stuff. Um, so yeah, don't panic. If you see me make any mistakes, I will find them hopefully in the edit, but feel free to mention them just in case. Cool. Okay, okay. So I have got here £200 in cash out of the bank, just as a bit of a float in case when I then condense the challenges and stuff, I don't have enough big notes, but I don't think we're going to need these at all. So I'm just going to pop those to the back of the tray. I have also got with me a trusty spreadsheet. It's probably a bit small, but I will zoom in when we get to the important bits. So this is my savings tracker. I didn't do a savings update um, for even for myself in March. So we're basing this on a comparison to February. Um, I filled in Hyperjar already. Um, and so, yeah, these are the numbers here. So in terms of um, savings, we've got 166.51 in Christmas. Family fun is on 25 at the moment. Family meal on 31.58. Ice cream on 26. Ostaf actually has nothing, but I'm saving for his football club in May and that has 25 pounds. Nothing in pharmacy and nothing in vape. So different wise, since February, we've saved 95 pounds um, in Christmas since February, which is really, really cool. That's from using the penny challenge. Family fun goes up and down all the time. Family meal has gone down considerably by £46. That's because we actually went out for a meal and it was very lovely. Um, ice cream's up by 18 We're hoping to get a full pot of £30 in ice cream before the May holidays. So we're on track for that. And yeah, O stuff is up 15 but it's not really O stuff because O stuff is empty. That's for his football. And also all the way down the bottom here. Um, so Italy, all the way down here, we have got £140.08 and, and we have saved... 32 pounds and 93 pence since February <laughs> but it's little little bits and we're gonna get there and um, that's a trip for me and my sister to go to Italy there's loads of places we want to go we're gonna to have to scale it down a little bit um so we want to and she's planned it all out she's very excited um we want to go to Naples and we want to look around Pompeii and climb Vesuvius and then we want to work our way then up to Lake Como and go via Rome and Milan and have this amazing road trip but yes it is a little bit too much I don't think we can do it so yesterday we were talking about maybe scaling it down doing Naples, Pompeii, um, Vesuvius and then like maybe Rome maybe or maybe not and then we'll save Lake Como for a, another time but yeah oh it would just be so lovely that place is so pretty so pretty uh right cool so yes I'm going to plumb in numbers as I'm counting and then we'll have a quick look at the end about what our total savings is which is going to be super exciting right so I'm going to get stuck into this now where to start let's start with the yeah let's start with this one Nope, that's the challenges. That's not the one we want to start with. Let's start with this one. So this is, right, so short term, let's start here. So clothes, I don't think there's anything to condense. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Huh? There should be 100 in there. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Curious. Okay, there should be 100 in here. Okay. I don't know why there is not £10 in there, but I will fix that for another day. That is really weird. Right, so anyway, clothes has got 90. Just pop that in my sheet. Right, and next is the dentist. I'm not going to condense clothes because we'll probably need pennies here and there. Dentist only has £10. Uh, home, I need to unstuff £30, as this lovely post-it is telling me. So let's get that out. So... Do we do 20 and two tens? Yeah, and that is because we had to buy a new hairdryer. So you're lucky I'm even here today. I nearly got killed by my hairdryer yesterday. It blew up in my hand and it was terrifying, absolutely terrifying. But yes, we've ordered a new one. So we've now got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20. So we've got 120 in home. Not gonna consolidate those two tens in case we need them. Right then, oh clubs, I need to unstuff 40. That is for his scouts fees. 
So 20, 40 unstuffed, 10 remaining, ready for the next round of fees. And I will colour all this off, hopefully, before tomorrow's video. Right then, unstuffed 115 from school holidays. So we have booked our trip to Chessington. Um, which is the theme park I was telling you about last time. But it was a bit more than I was expecting because all three of us are going, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to take the full 100 out of the May holidays. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then I'm going to have to take 15 out of um, the, what's it, savings? Summer holiday. <laughs> So I'm holiday saving. I'm going to have to take 15 out of there. But we don't have any change. Um, oh, I know where there's change. change. Nope, I don't. There's none in there either. Right, okay. So we'll come back to taking that out a bit later on or tomorrow. But yeah, I need to take £15 out of that. So 20, 40, 50, 60. 60 minus 15 is 45, which is what I'm going to put on my spreadsheet. Right then, time for us. Now, again, I don't think I'm going to consolidate it because we're going to go and spend it. But, yeah, there's no point. We're going to go and spend it in a couple of weeks, so I'm not going to consolidate it. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. Another five to go, and then we get to go on our... Mm, I will, I will. So, oopsie, so that's 20, and that's 20. There we go. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. That's a lot easier to count. Yeah, glad I did that. Cool, right, 95 in the spreadsheet. And then into long term, back to school and our lovely muck moo. We've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 160 in the spreadsheet. And then let's consolidate this down a bit. So that's 120. That's two twenties, three twenties, woo, four twenties, five twenties. That's exciting. Am I going to regret that? Maybe. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Yeah, 160 in there. So I did need to bring these twenties into play. So I'll tuck those there. Right. That's that. Car. We are on 200 in the bank and then 15 in there. So 215 is going on the spreadsheet. Uh, school just has 10 pounds. And then future uh, has 100. I think we need to update this. I think there's actually 110 in there at the moment. That's our help to buy ICES. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so that's it for that binder, but I still need to get 15 pounds out of thingy. Um, I need to count up what we've got in here. So we haven't seen this in a while. This is our emergency fund savings. And I will be getting back on this um, a little later down the road. But yeah, we really just want to focus on the debt. So we've got 125 in the iris binder for emergency. That is in the spreadsheet. Lush. Right, so next is my... Um, my binder. <laughs> I was just thinking as to whether or not I need to include freedom, but I don't. I don't count this up because this is just going to go back to pay the bank. Somebody did drop me a note though and said, why don't you use this £5 to top up the 15 from the other day? So that was a good suggestion. So that is done. Thank you very much. Lovely. Done that. Right. So my binder, there is absolutely nothing in here. <laughs> So going out is empty. I need to unstuff all of the hair. I'm off to my hair appointment in a minute, actually. So that is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, but nothing going in the spreadsheet because I'm just about to use it. And I'm just going to advance myself the extra £10 I need out of my spending money um, for tomorrow. So I'm going to be stuffing less tomorrow. And Splurge has nothing in there. Um, birthdays, we have got 10. This is 50. Oh no, 40, but I'm going to leave that as two tens. So 10, 50, ninety in birthdays, which is cool. Oh, a couple of people did say to me about um, my hair. Why don't I advance um, my £10 out of this birthday money? But my spending money and the birthday money come out of two separate budgets, if you like. So we give ourselves... Um, 
£200 a month to spend on our personal self-care and that's where my hair comes from but all the birthday monies is saved out of our joint budget so I can't use the birthday money for my hair because they are two separate pots so that's why I can't do that but it was a great suggestion and thank you very much but yeah that's why I can't do it so £90 in birthdays I'm just going to pop that in the spreadsheet awesome and that's it I'm not going to include any of the um channel money but I do need to unstuff the channel one because uh, I have already ordered something for a giveaway. Eek, I'm so excited. We're very close to three and a half thousand subs and I have got the best giveaway present for you. Well, I think so. You might not think it's worth the hype, but uh, I do. I think it's awesome. And if I used cash, there's a little hint for you. If I used cash for my weekly expenses, I would be buying one for me. Oh, I wonder what it is. Uh, right. <laughs> so now let's go into the challenges and have a look what we've got there. So all of these are just what we save in Hyperjar. I did forget to cross this off last week, so I have crossed it off. Um, we're not going to count up Flossy. The emoji challenge, I've only just started, so we're not going to bother. Uh, there's £3.50 in there. Uh, oh, I mean, I might. Nah, I'll make a note of it. Okay, I've made a note of it on the spreadsheet. Right, Spendy Bingo is owed £3. Um, I went out to the pub yesterday for the quiz and I needed to take some money out of here. So I have advanced myself more money. I owe myself money. How weird is that? Uh, but yeah, this is owed £3. So let's get this all out. Oh, I always love watching um, Budget with Kerry take all her coins out and I've always been really jealous. But now I get to do it. Eek. <laughs> Right, um, so, oh, speaking of other budgeters, by the way, I just want to give a shout out to Luna Lolly. Have you seen the new Knockout 9 challenge that she and a lot of people are doing? It is so much fun. If I had room in my budget, I would totally be doing it, but I don't have room, so I'm not. Um, but yeah, do check out Luna Lolly. Um, she's made it in collaboration with a couple of other budgeters, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. I know it's Canny Tally, and I can't remember the other one, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, do check out uh, Luna Lolly. Her channel is amazing. It takes me back. <laughs> to my happy hardcore days uh, just because of all the colours and the music and I just love it, Jen's amazing um, cool, so let's count up whatever challenge this is, spendy bingo so we've got 25, 35 40 2, 4 6, 8 50, am I even in camera 51 plus the 3 is 54 wow 54 pounds already Oh, these add up. Oh, so much fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. So Spendy Bingo on the spreadsheet has 54. Tick. Uh, right. So what should we do about consolidating this then? Shall we leave a couple of fibers for change? And then 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yes. Let's do that. So 20. Cool. So these two fives... And this 10, I've just swapped out for a £20 note, like that. So we have got 20, 40, 51, plus the three that I owe is 54. Lushers. Apologies if none of this is in shot. Oh, that is a lot thinner now. Right, roll it up. What have you got? Let's have a look. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, I feel like I'm speaking at hyperspeed because I'm just having so much fun. Right, okay, so we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 4, 6, 7. So 27 on the spreadsheet. And this is going to premium bond savings. Um, no, it's not. What are we on? Yep, it is. <laughs> um, just for like a personal emergency fund. I spent it all recently on a, a retreat because my brain was about to fall out of my head. So yeah, I went and got... <laughs> went on a retreat with the 200 pounds I had saved. Right, so what am I gonna do? I feel like I should leave some coinage, maybe some notage. What would you do? Shall I just do a tenner? No, I wanna get rid of this. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so that's five swapped. And then five, 10, I don't reckon, I think a five and two, that should be enough. Oh, I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna put a 20 in. So we've got 27 in there. There we go. And then the tortoise in the hair. This is so that I have an actual retreat fund or a go away with friends fund. Ooh. And we have got 5, 10, 15, <laughs> 15, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5 makes 20. 21 pounds. 
Hmm, I don't want to swap that out for a 20, I don't think. I think that would be too dangerous. So I'm going to take just the two fives for a 10. And then I'm going to leave these 50s in here because what I want to do, the next time I get a bit of change that I can use for the emoji challenge, I'm going to swap these 50s out, put a pound in here and put the 50s in the emoji challenge um, just because I can do that. Right, so we've got, what did I say? 15, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> which in logical numbers is 21. Right, let's put that down. And I think that is actually us all unstuffed and a little bit of consolidating on the challenges because they is getting bulky. So much fun, really enjoyed that. Uh, right, so roll it up back in there. Cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, I should have done a jobber before, but never mind. That is that done. So I've done all the binders, correct? We've Swap that fiver and freedom. I counted up emergency. I've done our joint binder, my binder, and the challenges. Got some change. Yay, all good. Right, so let's bring in the spreadsheet. Right, so I've turned this around in the hopes that you can see it better, but I've got no idea if it's wonky or if it's even in shot. Um, so this is what I've added up. My conditional formatting isn't working for some reason, but we will ignore that. So these are all the numbers. So we went through Hyperjar already. We're up in Christmas and then a little bit up in others and down on family meal because we spent some. Birthdays, we are up by 50 quid. We have saved 50 pounds since we last did a count up in February. Clothes, um, we're up by 85, even though that's in red. Conditional formatting, error. Um, up by five in the dentist. Home, we're up by 95. O clubs are down by 50, but that's because they fluctuate. School holidays, down by 65, again, because they fluctuate. School's got 10 pounds and time for us is up by 75, but we'll soon go all the way down when we spend it. Oh, that's going to be fun. Um, back to school has 100 pounds up from last time, which is cool. Car is down 385, but that is because we um, bought some tyres. Emergency is up by a whole 20 pounds. Go us and future is up by 30, which is awesome. All of my funds are empty except for my challenges. So my savings, which is the roll it up challenge, has gone down by 173. Like I explained, I already spent some of that money on a retreat. Uh, I say retreat, it was literally just like a two night midweek getaway just to clear my head. Um, Spendy Bingo has 54. That's for a um, day away with my friend to Kew Gardens. Hopefully we might change where we're going now. But yeah, originally the plan was Kew Gardens. Retreat has £21 in it and Splurge has £3.50. So I've put the emoji challenge money into Splurge because that's probably where it's going to go. So yeah, £3.50 in there. So all in all, from the difference from April, um, February to now is we are down 76.54 from the last time we did count up. The total that we have saved at the moment is a huge £1,456, which is just crazy. It blows my mind every single time. So I've been feeling really, really down lately about the fact that we don't have any money, because we don't. We don't have any expendable cash, right? So my personal um, spend, save, self-care binder is empty, is gone. I don't have anything. My husband is living on a shoestring with his, um, spending money as well. And it is getting a little bit depressing, to be honest with you. Um, it's getting really frustrating. And I just want to go and take my credit card and tap it everywhere and buy loads of stuff and live like I used to. Um, but then I remembered that it's not my money. It's not my money. I can't do that. And then we'll have to pay back even more money. And that's the whole point of what we're trying to do now. So it's a short term pain for long term gain, but it is really, really challenging. So the fact that I can see with my own eyes that we do have money, we can buy things, we just can't waste our money on rubbish we don't need, is actually really quite nice. So we have got just under one and a half thousand pounds saved across all our binders, which is super exciting. Um, and then um, Italy, I think I already spoke about, is up 33. So that's it for the spreadsheet. So let's have a look at what money we have in the cash tray. Right, so all this money is going back to the bank. 200 pounds of this um, I got as a float out of the bank. So we'll discount that. Um, I'll just keep that at home for cash stuffing over the next couple of weeks. But the rest of it will be going back into the bank to cover all the things that we owe. You have to do a money fan don't you? It's not life without a money fan. There you go. Woo. I am in an odd one. Right, so let's count this up then. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, so 455, 
465, 470 pounds. So 200 pounds was afloat, which means I've got 270 pounds that we are taking back to the bank to pay for stuff. So that's 270 pounds that we have saved up that we are going to put back in the bank for things that we wanted and needed and it is not going on a credit card. Yay, go us. Um, that is it. What a random weird video. Um, it feels so weird doing a video that you've not done before or for a while. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I never reminded you of the affirmation. This week's affirmation is I say yes to truth and peace. Um, I will be pulling a new affirmation tomorrow because it is cash stuffing day tomorrow. So thank you so much if you joined me for this extra video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for another cash stuffing. Bye everyone.